friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I posted on Instagram two palettes and I asked you guys to vote on which one you would like to see me film on my channel first. And the only reason I did that is because I couldn't make up my mind. I have two newer-ish um, neutral palettes. I'm so pumped. So I am going to film with the Corderosa palette today because that's the one that won my Instagram poll. This palette just caught my eye. So if you guys want to see a look, some swatches and a first impression, keep watching. And then the other one I posted was this guy. This is the Artist Couture Supreme Nudes palette. Oh my gosh, I was like lusting for this palette. And my husband actually bought this for me as a gift. So super, super excited for that one. I will film with that tomorrow. So stay tuned for a look on that if you've been curious. It is also on Sephora.com now. So if you wanna pick it up as part of the sale, might be the time to grab it. But let me go ahead and just show you guys this Corderosa palette. You've probably seen it on some of your other favorite YouTubers' channels. I know Kelly Gooch here on YouTube received this in PR and posted a look with it. And it just had me going, guys. And I think Samantha March also got this in PR. But I've been, like, watching Kelly Gooch. I I don't know what's happening. I think I think I'm Kelly Gooch. I just want to be like this project panning, like beautiful, effortless human being. She's just so stunning. If you guys haven't checked out her channel, highly recommend really inspirational content for makeup savages like myself. So anyway, I'm so excited to play with this palette. Oh my gosh, the shimmers just look so glittery and beautiful and I don't even know. And even the little brush that comes with the palette, like the ferrule is so stunning with that rose gold and the nice brown handle. I'm so excited. Okay, so there is an E38 on the one side, which is a diffuse crease and then a medium sweeper E54, which is like a flat brush. So I'm gonna go in with the brush that comes with the palette, the shade Summer Song, which is like a beautiful neutral brown color. And I haven't used a Sigma palette in a couple of years. I bought a Sigma palette one time when I was at the Mall of America. There's a Sigma store there. And I was in like college, um, didn't really know as much about makeup as I do now. And I picked up this Neutrally palette from them. And honestly, I didn't really love it. I hardly ever used it, but I feel like Sigma has stepped up their makeup game and I've seen so many of my favorite YouTubers talk about their palettes recently. I know Angie's on their PR list. She did a collab brush set with them a couple of years ago and that Enchanted, what is it called? The Enchanted palette or something looks so stunning. And so then when I saw this one was coming out and I was lusting over it and then I was looking for the Enchanted palette, it was sold out on Sigma and then I found it on QVC. So without even trying the Corderosa, I bought the Enchanted palette because I was like too excited about the color story. And I think Kelly Gooch said that was like her favorite palette in her makeup collection. So I had to have it. I'm sorry. Okay, don't judge me. This summer song shade just blended like a freaking dream. It was so effortless and I love that color. It's just like the perfect caramely brown for my crease right now. Um, so next I'm gonna go in with, oh my God, <sighs> which shade? I think I wanna do, let's do a little bit of medallion, which is a little bit of a chocolatey brown shade and I'm just gonna tuck that into, oh, I forgot to tap that, but I'm gonna just tuck that into all over the crease as well. So this brush is really bendy and soft, so I like that. It's not very firm. And then I really quick wanna throw in a brow bone highlight, so I'm just gonna grab this wet and wild brush and go to the shade uh, Veranda, I think is how you say that. And it's like a little bit of a satin nude shade, so I'm just gonna throw that in my brows. My brows need help again. Um, I kind of tamed them with like one of those little face shaver blades that I had, but they're back. They're like, hello, Kara, notice me, notice my brows. <laughs> so they're back in full force. Okay. I like that color. Now I want to go into, I'm thinking either bare root or 
Shakespeare, but I don't want to go red. I kind of want to go brown. So maybe I'll go a little bit of bare root and try and kind of keep it on the outer corner. I don't want to darken this up too much, I think. We'll see, I might change my mind. Oh, I'm so happy with this palette. I've only used three shades, but I'm so happy. I hope the shimmers are good. If the shimmers are good, I'm gonna feel like it was money well spent. Wow, I really like that. Okay, I'm gonna throw in a little bit more medallion just to kind of tone down the darkness. And then I wanna add a little bit of Shakespeare just to lighten it up on the outer corner. Cause that was more like a cool brown and I would like it to be like a warmer, darker brown. So I think if I add a little red, it'll spruce it up. I love that blend, so good. Okay, moment of truth guys. It's time for a shimmer shade. So we have so many options. There's Bell of the Ball looks stunning. Um, Sun Sprite looks great. Campfire, High Society. I don't know if this is like a topper shade or if it's like an actual shimmer shade. I'm gonna go into High Society first, just, you know, just to see what the pigmentation is like. Oh man, oh man. Look at that, that's so pretty. Oh, I'm so excited for the Enchanted palette now, cause I, was like, you know, if you if it's a new brand, you're like, you know, am I gonna like it? What am I doing? I should wait to try out one before I buy the other. And I was just like, eh. I've been like quarantine and shopping like it's my job. I apologize, my husband is on the phone with his mother and he is in the basement. So you guys may be able to hear him. My mic might be picking him up. Ooh, that color is pretty. You guys sick of me freaking out about this palette yet? <laughs> oh my god. I love it. Okay, now I really want to go into the shade Bell of the Ball, which is like a beautiful shimmer. I'm just going to keep using the same brush. I just want to see if that's a topper. Yeah, it looks... Definitely more like a shimmery topper shade. Lots of sparkles. I need to stop now before I go crazy. So what I'm gonna do guys is finish up the look, do some foundation, finish up my face, and I'll be right back to tell you guys my first impressions and do some swatches. Okay guys, so here is the final look with the Corda Rosa palette by Sigma Beauty. I don't wanna get too excited, but I am obsessed. I'm obsessed, I, I love it. I think that this might be my favorite neutral palette of 2020. And that's a big statement, cause I only just used it, but I, try a lot of eyeshadow formulas on a monthly, weekly basis. And usually when I use a formula, I can tell if I'm going to like it or I'm going to hate it. And um, I think I think that me and uh, Corda Rosa here are gonna get along real good um, this month. So I'm so pumped that I purchased this on a, mostly on a whim, on a prayer, cause I had not tried Sigma yet and I'm so happy. I'm gonna play with this. I'm so excited. I'm so excited and the packaging's beautiful. I believe Sigma is cruelty free. So that's wonderful as well. And I bought this on the Sigma website. I will link it for you guys if you're interested in picking it up. I'm obsessed. So I'm gonna stop blabbering. Let's swatch this palette really quick and end this video so it's not like 100 years long. Um, so here are the first four shades. We have Belle of the Ball, we have Veranda, we have Sun Sprite. And we have Damask, so pretty. Look at how metallic those first few shades are. 
Are you kidding me? They're like, they're swatching like they're wet. Okay, here are the next four shades. We have Shakespeare, Apricot, High Society, which is on my lid, and then Bare Root, which is on my outer corner. I'm trying to learn to swatch like this. Oh my god, I can't even. I haven't been this excited about a neutral palette since probably like the soft glam palette. So I feel like a very happy camper right now. The next four, we have Hybrid, Medallion, Campfire, and Dark Knight. Oh my goodness. And then the last two shades we have are Summer Song which is on my crease, and then Corderosa, which is, I guess, the shade that inspired this palette. So let me swatch, swatch. So there is the swatches of the palette. I don't know what else to say, guys. I really like this palette. I've only tried it one time, so of course, you know, take it with a grain of salt, but I'm I'm hyped. Like, these swatch so beautifully. They applied on the eyes so well. Look at that rose gold on my lids. I'm so pumped. I love color, but you guys know I love neutral eyeshadows as well. I love this look. Like, I would wear this makeup look out of the house. I would wear it to work. I would go out to drinks with it. Like, <laughs> I love this look. So, so anyway, I will go ahead and link this entire look in my description box if you guys are interested in any of the pieces I have on today. Thank you guys for watching. I'll go ahead and leave some of my playlists so you guys can watch more eyeshadow videos with me. And I'll see you in my next one soon. Bye, guys!